Hi, this what you see is a DC motor, NIDEC and 12 volts. Now you can see how thick the winding is used for the armature. Okay, I will give you a closer view by zooming it. Yeah, you see that the wires are very thick for the winding, armature winding. So at present it is not working. These are the two terminals with which uh, it should work and it's a brushed DC motor. So guys for running it I'm going to uh, power it up with a 3.7 volts battery pack. Now although this motor is 12 volts it can easily start on 3.7 volts because it's only one third the voltage. Even though I'm connecting the terminals but there is no spark which indicates that uh, the power supply is not getting inside through the brushes to the armature so something is wrong either with the commutator or with the brushes so for that we will have to open it up and see what the problem is this video is sponsored by JLC PCB to order upload job files from your computer after checking the details and price on the next page save to cart and then check out securely also every customer will get dollar seven and dollar eight free engineering fee for SMT assembly orders So guys here as you can see that I have opened the back cover and everything is so great. You can see uh, there are four brushes none of the four are worn out and the brushes are so thick which indicates the high current flow through them. The commutators are healthy these are uh, the two inductors. I think uh, the fault is somewhere here because uh, there is a little burning point. It seems like uh, uh, there was some heating fault. So all I have to do is uh, uh, like uh, fix that and then it should get started. Okay so let's do that can see how thick the wires coming from the brushes are and how thick the brushes themselves are so let's remove this case still the thing is that it is fixed from here it will have to be a little creative to remove that okay so guys here as you can see that i have cut this part so that i can remove this plastic case easily so let's do that yeah so guys this is the brush case you can see all the brass and the connections NIDEC the two terminals for the motor connection coming over here you can see this little metal piece here this is one terminal and this is the other terminal connected to a small capacitor here covered in dust okay now the only problem is that the current is not going uh, to one of the terminals I guess you see this part is broken the metal piece is broken i think that's why the uh, there is current cap so i believe i will have to solder it so guys that you saw was uh, the brush part now guys this is the rotor part so you can see there are four magnet poles one two three and four and uh, so thick wires have been used for creating the winding yeah so I have held back the brushes with the help of these clips. With that being done, now I am going to solder a joint that broke. You will see here a little groove. You see this part broke, it has to be stuck like this. And there is the break mark. So I will have to solder it. So guys here as you can see that uh, the soldering was a little difficult so I gave a copper jumper two copper jumpers from here to this part so that uh, like uh, the current flows without any damage like if it moves up and down but still there will be no loss of connectivity between the terminals which broke. So let's finally install it uh, on this armature winding and see if this setup works or not okay so yeah let's do that. Uh, the final one and this is the slot so this is it okay nice everything is in place you see the shaft is running brushes are working the back case Mm. 
a little bit of hammering and it will go in place as it was before so guys for testing it i'm going to use this battery 3.7 volts in these two terminals same as before let's see even if, if there is spark it will indicate that it is working so guys actually uh, the terminals from the battery got out you can see here i'm using uh, this neodymium magnet to press the wire against the battery terminals both the terminals got out because of which uh, the motor was not working even though I connected the battery. But now I'm going to test it and show you that it works. These are the two terminals plus and minus. One is here and the other one and now it should work. You see? It's working really nice. Yeah, it, it is also working from here. Uh, the actual connections are here of course. Here or here. Yeah, good torque. So yeah, this is it. It's important that it locks itself here also. Now it is in place and running. Okay, so guys, the repairing part is finally over. So guys, here as you can see that I have connected a drill chuck to the shaft of this motor so that uh, the rotation of the motor is uh, visible pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to connect uh, the terminals of this battery this motor and let's see how it runs you see it's running nicely now this was uh, the supply from just 3.7 volts now I'm going to connect a bigger battery 12 volts from a UPS which you already know and have seen in many of my previous videos you see yeah it works nice now that the motor is ready and performing pretty good and also you can see here I have placed hot glue uh, like uh, the metal bond and it has stuck uh, the base to the motor so now I'm going to test it as a generator and see how much voltage and current it generates from hand rotation and then with rope rotation so let's do that first part connecting these two clips one like this other like this the two clips have been connected to the two terminals now comes the multimeter pointing towards 20 volts dc mode and one terminal like this the other one like this okay so with that being done let's turn the shaft and see how much voltage i get to see on the display screen see 1.3 volts 1.58 1.45 so yeah the hand rotation voltage was not much now comes the rope rotation so let's wound the thread on the drill chuck okay watch the display screen guys as i'm going to pull the thread yeah well actually the terminal got out Timing was really bad for the terminal. So guys, you saw it was somewhere around 5.5 volts DC. So guys, you saw that the voltage was somewhere around 9.6, making it around 12 volts DC. So now comes the current testing. Now this is more of uh, the current type and less of the voltage type let's see uh, the current range it's rated for around 40 amperes let's see how much current i can generate okay guys keep watching the display screen you see i easily generated around 5.5 amperes with this dc motor because it's a high current motor so 9 fives are 45 taking it 10 then it makes it around uh, 55 watts that was uh, generated it can easily produce 40 amperes uh, at proper shaft rotation so guys here as you can see that i have connected this car indicator bulb to this motor generator let's see how much it can glow okay Uh, you can see that it is working let's turn off the lights and retest it okay whoa so guys that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you